What's going on, everybody? Today is Thursday, April 11th, 2024, and it's a very important day because we are back once again to discuss a brand new season of The Challenge. Well, brand new, that was filmed like a year and a half ago or whatever it was, but, <laughs> but it's here now and I think we're going to enjoy it. I'm very excited to talk about the first couple episodes with you guys. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, let's just kick this off. Yeah, yeah, it's last. God, this is so bad. I'm chewing. <laughs> my name is John Dunby Sorbello. I'm joined as always by my <laughs> my rider dies, Mr. Kyle Petty Raids and Miss Gina Morgino. How are you guys? Let me chew. Talk. You know, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Um, I'd really like to beat the 411 pun into the ground today, you know, being April 11th. You know, what's the 411? Hun. <laughs> <laughs> and um, now we go she from X amount of viewers to zero. <laughs> Gina, I don't think I'm hearing you, by the way. Oh, I was muted. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. I was. <laughs> no, I just want to make sure there's like things happening around the apartment. I wanted to make sure I kept myself muted out of respect. The host <laughs> eating sure. during the opening, <laughs> chewing yeah, as we come out of it. Gina's I was, I was just Get giggling it at Kyle's puns. I wasn't saying anything important. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I, for some reason, I. Thought I had more time, but I didn't. Uh, we are we are Scratch Chat, your favorite reality TV podcast. You can find us on all the socials, so please do that. Find us, follow, uh, comment, like, and uh, leave us a really nice review if you wouldn't mind on places like Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, so let's get into All Stars Four. Um, we've definitely had some challenge fatigue, you know, between. 39 and USA and 38 and the first USA and all the other international shows and the world championship. It feels like there's been a lot of challenge and it's been a little too much at times, but I have a lot of hope for this season. I'm actually really excited about this season. Um, I'm curious to get you guys just initial thoughts on the cast. Um, Cause I think this is an interesting one. I love this cast, um, and I'm super, super excited for this season. And I also wanted to be noted, though, that it's not necessarily because of the cast that's making me so excited. It's a fantastic cast for sure, but I feel like this is just classic challenge, and this is what it should be. Play your little game. Let's have some stealing. 45-minute episodes, you know, if you are fortunate enough to have the no-ad version of the P+. Plus. Um, this is the way to go. This is just quintessential challenge. Um, I'm just so excited. Um, yeah. The cast is the bonus. It's the format right. that I think is a winning, winning format. I can't say enough good things. This is what it should be. Yeah, And well, I think, it was, Kyle, was it you that was saying the other day, I, I think this was like an off stream conversation, but we were saying that a lot of our fatigue, I think, comes from the fact that we have seen the same people over and over and over again. So while like mm -hmm. some of these people are people that we've seen recently, it still is like a new experience because the majority of the, I mean, for me personally, I haven't seen most of these people before at right. all, but mm -hmm. it's just like, I think that's definitely going to be helping with the fatigue a lot too, because like it's a sick cast of people we haven't been seeing over and over and over again. Right, right. Yeah. And we're also just welcoming back such like amazing, amazing legends. Like say what you want about Ayana. She's been around for years. Um, Jasmine's back. You know, I mean, of course, Brad. Like we'd love to see Derek and Ryan. Like Avery, didn't think we would ever see Avery again. <laughs> um, just really, fan Nicole, I didn't think we'd ever see Nicole again. Um, you know, Laurel's kind of been circling circling the uh the pad here so not not a huge shock but always exciting to see her I, i'm definitely interested to hear more of that tea too because like i i know so little of it that i'm like what happened here <laughs> i don't even fully remember what happened i right, know that they were right. together and then they weren't and it was very explosive but as far as the particulars um, we already know that obviously something is going to happen i saw in some next on that they were like kissing already so like i uh, you know what, whatever this faux feud is, it's it's not going to be long. Um, we're clearly going to be getting to something at some point. Um, it's a lot of interesting things to look at with Laurel between the Nicole <laughs> stuff. And then did you see that one after the first episode when they showed like what's coming up this season? And the first thing we see is Laurel just screaming in Cara Maria's face. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> 
classic Laurel. I mean, yeah. I'm telling you, I'm very excited. I'm very yeah. excited. Um, um, and I agree with you about the format. I really like the format, um, especially the stealing of stars because it gives serious Mario Party vibes. Or excellent. Matt, Blav Matt Blavin's going to give uh, give me crap for that. It's Mario. Mario. Party right um, it is Mario. Sorry. Yeah. But um, yeah, I, and then the reason, like you guys, you guys were touching on it already, but like the reason that I'm so excited about this cast is I feel like. Um, like you definitely have some of the older players, like old school players, like Kefla, first ever winner, which is awesome. Akifla, I'm sorry. Um, but like, um, what's exciting about this is that it feels like the strongest cast, but it's also made up of people we haven't really seen a lot lately. Like even last year on All Stars Three, or whenever it aired, like we still had Wes in there, you had Jordan in there, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you had Kayla in there, you had Kellyanne, she was just on the World Championships. Like you had people that were in some of these big time, like very competitive versions of the challenge. And I feel like when we first started with like All Stars one and even two a little bit, mm. it really skewed towards the older players, and it didn't feel quite as competitive. And then I feel like the competition, you know, took a step up in in three, and has taken like an even bigger step up now in four. But it's made up with people that are still at like peak, you know, competition level, just that we haven't seen in a while. So it makes it extra exciting, I think. Um, yeah, so. totally agree. Yeah, and Rachel, like, let's not let's make sure she gets a couple of flowers love rachel as well like yeah. this is a great i mean it, it's a really really great cast but the format is fantastic and i can't wait to see how these past relationships will affect especially just the star stealing um, there's just a lot of excitement to come um yeah. yeah yeah totally totally um okay so uh we talked about the format we talked about our excitement of the cast and stuff like that should we just i know for a lot of you know a lot of these like premiere streams we just kind of run through the cast um so i feel like we can kind of do that give our thoughts on everybody and what's going on with them and then obviously we'll touch on the daily challenges and the eliminations um so uh i've got everybody in here alphabetically um first up is ace um ace is an interesting one so far like he's on my team like i feel like he seems like he could be a good competitor i don't know though like I think it was him in like the first nominations, everybody was voting and kind of saying the same names. And then he was just very much like, well, I don't really like to follow the crowd. So I'm going to say the two opposite names in the nominations. So like, mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm curious to see what he'll be like as the game move, moves forward. If He doesn't seem like somebody that's going to want to just go with the flow or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, no, he doesn't necessarily want to go with the flow. Um, I, I'm, I'm never like super excited to see Ace. It's fine. Um, He's he's not gonna like super detract, but like I'm not like you know, not waving a banner or anything. A very <laughs> lukewarm response. Yeah, <laughs> yep. that, that's exactly how I feel. Just kind of tepid. Like it's fine. I wouldn't wish him out, but I don't. Whatever. <laughs> that, that's fair enough. I I don't you know, it, it's I'm not I've never been like a, a huge fan of Ace, but you know I'm excited to have him on my team. I think he could do well. Um. All right, next up is actually another one of mine, uh, Adam, Adam Larson. Um, I don't really know much about Adam, but I did enjoy when they were talking about, like, uh, the difference between challenge and daily challenge, because people were asking him, like, what's your favorite challenge? And he was like, do you mean challenge or mission? And they're like, they're not called missions anymore, like, just mm. to show, like, how long it's been since he's been around, so... Um, yeah, I don't remember this man. I mean, he looks familiar to me, but I couldn't tell you one thing about him. Um, so <laughs> I don't want to say I'm excited or not excited. I, I have, I do not recall. Well, I will say I was very happy with his first performance because in that first daily challenge they did, um, he was one of the, the six to get a star, one of only three men to get a star. Mm -hmm. So um, that was promising first performance because it felt like you had people out there like Leroy, like, people that you would think are younger and in better shape gassing out and he's coming in the top three of the men. So pretty strong opening performance, I think. Yeah, it counts for something. Um, okay, next up is Avery, who is a member of Team Morgino, right? Yeah. She also had a great performance for the first uh, first daily challenge. She also got a star. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think about Gina so uh, about Avery so far, Gina? I mean, I'm gonna be so honest. I like didn't know anything about her when I picked her. I was like, she's pretty. I want her on my team. And that was my only criteria. But <laughs> uh, I mean, the fact that she like right out of the gate came out with a star, I feel pretty good about that. <laughs> so that's all I can really say. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like her. I'm excited to see her in a setting without what's his face. You know that guy? What the hell was his name? Who's another? Yeah, Johnny. I do. Yeah, Johnny I the something. Name. Um, I can picture his face. Um, and I just feel like anytime we saw her, she was like linked to him, and they, they had so much. Oh, was drama. she like tied to a showman's person? Basically, yeah. And like, so I, I'm excited to see Avery by herself, and like, just see kind of what she does. So you know, welcome back to the challenge, Miss Avery. There you go. Mm -hmm. All righty. Um, now the uh, oh Frank mentions, and I did see this uh, during the episode that Adam is a former winner. I think it did say he was a one-time mm -hmm. champion. So okay, good for um, him. Yeah, I think he mentioned like early two thousands, like somewhere around two thousand six. He was mentioning a season around that time frame, um, where he had been. He was a very different person than he is now. Way just way more wild. So um, I don't know. We'll see how he how he. Uh, performs this season next person i'm very interested to get you guys take because sayana so this is a member of team petty i believe right yes she so is. kyle kyle why don't you take it away what are your uh your thoughts here on ayana so far listen it might be a hot take but like i still don't hate her she played the game like we're playing oh, so is she is she not liked i feel like she's fun i think she, i think she's fun to the fan base. I think other people don't enjoy playing the challenge with her. Got it, um, got it, got it. But it's like, listen, half this game is social. So if you want to like to start planting seeds and kind of causing some chaos, I mean, listen, we come from a big brother environment. That's what we know. Chaos is our middle name. So like, sorry, she understands the assignment. She ain't winning nothing. So you might as well just start stirring stuff up. Let them fight. <laughs> do you like, think do you think it's gonna come back? I mean, I feel like she's not being very like uh stealthy in the way that she's planting the seeds. No, and, like, and like, she I don't never think is. It, right. Like, I don't think that the way she's operating like I think there's a way to cause the chaos that she is, but like not have it affect your game in a in a bad way. I feel like what because once um Janelle was all upset finding out that Ayana was going around saying, like, oh yeah, Janelle is specifically pushing to have Jasmine go in. And then Janelle just being like, I never said that. I said, I want to go in. I want a chance to steal a star. Whoever you send in with me is what it is. Mm -hmm. And then Janelle went to people in the house like, did I say Jasmine? And they were like, no, you just said you wanted to go in and then we could decide. So I feel like, and then the whole, <laughs> at the nomination, the point that Leroy had to get up and walk away because I just kept going on and on. And that was funny to me too, because I feel like with those things, we usually will sit there and be like, all right, this probably really only lasted like a few minutes for production, like made it look like it went on but then when Leroy actually walked away and was like in a confessional it was like listen by the time Ayana was like 45 minutes in an hour in and I'm like wait for real like people are clearly not gonna want to keep her around this is how she's gonna be this whole season you know th that one definitely felt different I was like I I know there has been quite a passage in time like this isn't just like a silly like oh maybe they were talking for a bit like you could tell that this one went on for a while yeah, the speech was definitely like way too much, way, way too much. <laughs> but I think what's interesting, again, about what makes this format so much fun is that like who is also going to want to see Ayana in an elimination? Other than sure. like Crazy Laurel, like no one's going to actually call her out. So it's like you do kind of get to play this different semi-aggressive maybe make some certain decisions socially that other people might not because they'd be too scared to go down there like you got to call me out and it's like they're not so <laughs> right you might be pissing people off but like does that necessarily put her in danger in an individual game I, I, time will tell yeah no, that's very but fair I, point, but yeah. i think i think it could serve her yeah okay all right hey yeah, I hear that. I hear that. It's not how um, I would play, but <laughs> hey, do each their own. Right. Yeah. All righty. Uh, up next, we have Gina's first pick, Mr. Brad, the beard. Um, it's good to see him back. It's always good to see Brad. And he, yeah. uh, so obviously we had, a, we had a top six, three men, three women that got stars. But Brad actually won this competition for the men. Um, mm -hmm. just, just as Kara won it for the woman, uh, women, which we'll get into that more when we get to, uh, to Kara, because I don't want to, you know, step on Brad's moment here. What do you think about Brad so far, Gina? I mean, even if he wasn't one of the only people that I knew, I would still want to pick him early on. Like I'm, I'm very excited to have him on my team. I'm excited to see him back. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah. 
I'm excited to see Brad. <laughs> it's right for my yeah. <laughs> no, I'm excited to see Brad. I just don't have any like like major major feelings, but I mean I always like seeing him. Um Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um up next we have Mr. Brandon Nelson. This is a mm. Kyle Petty draft pick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um now something notable, I guess, about Brandon. He had a great performance, I think, right in the first daily as well. Did he also get a star? He did get a star. Right. But his has since been stolen. Is that correct? It has. It has. And as has Avery's, which we didn't mention before. But so, mm -hmm. um, yeah, Brandon, good competitor. But uh, what was the reason that his got taken away? Do you remember? Was it because I forget the person I feel like said, like, Brandon, this is why I'm taking your star. But I can't remember now. Um, mm. I don't but, remember either. Yeah. It's just an interesting thing to, like, think about because it's like. It, it it brings that social side of it into it now too, right? Where it's like, you don't want to be on anyone's bad side that's going into elimination because then it's going to be you whose star gets stolen. So like, it's interesting to me because Brandon obviously is a good competitor. He did well enough to get a star, but now it's like, is there something socially that we haven't seen yet that maybe uh, he's got to work on because he, he's the first one to get a star stolen from him, you know? It's like, so... Um, well, it could also just be that people don't know him because I think Brandon sure. has only played like two challenges before. And right, who was it that right. took it? It was Steve. Like, Steve doesn't know this man. So, like, if mm. I want to take anybody's star, I might as well just take yours. But, um, okay. oh, that was the reason. He said, I took Brandon, I'm taking your star because you voted for me to come down here. That was the reason. Okay. So, that's just more of like a tip yeah, of hey, that. Now, now we're even. Yeah, now yeah, we're what even. else am I supposed to do? What do you want from me? What yeah. do you want from me? <laughs> Come on, Adam Lambert. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt like I couldn't like leave that on the floor. I had to pick it up. Sure. <laughs> it's Absolutely. As you should. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. Up next is the queen herself. <laughs> queen Cara Maria Sorbello. <laughs> Welcome back to the challenge. Like oh, an actual look season, at her. Oh, right? I'm salivating. She yeah, she, she's gorgeous, and it's just great to see her back. Um, I'm so excited to see her play. I'm like, so terrified of this woman. Like, I am sorry. Terrified. <laughs> I'm absolutely terrified of her. Uh no, she's, she's great. honestly Cara is now is not the time to be terrified of her. Maybe a few years ago. <laughs> yeah, I feel like um, she's starting to mellow out. I kind of hope not. Not too much, anyway. I not. mean, like I said, right from like the last season, right? That you, you in the orange shirt. I was like, nope, I'm out. I'm like, goodbye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I want you. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's fun. I also, I oh. know we talked about this off stream, but just so, just so y'all know, the way the draft order worked was Kyle went first and then John went and then Gina went. So Cara Maria and Laurel were not even on the table as options in my head of people that could potentially be drafted. I knew they were getting snatched up immediately <laughs> so oh, yeah. I, I didn't even bother considering Kara as part they of my really team easy yeah the easy one two draft picks i literally i still wanted Kara. i mean i love laurel i'm glad i have her but i wanted Kara so bad that i'm still standing her even though she's not on my team <laughs> she's on kyle's team so mm -hmm. um yeah yeah no it was it was no contest right what no. a welcome back too like you finally come back and you dominate that first daily challenge beat everybody all the men all the women um not even that like you finally come back to the challenge and kyle petty picks you first i mean like <laughs> <laughs> the true victory <laughs> yes <laughs> that's so funny it's stupid um but all right anything else on Kara? no other than welcome okay. back love you lots Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. um, all right, up next we have Derek. Um, another Team Morgino pick, right? So cute. <laughs> I love Derek. I like Derek a lot. And uh, him and Ryan are really close, right? Mm -hmm. I, I, I really want to see the two of them uh, make, make it far. It far. Yep. Yeah, I, li I like them a lot. Um, yeah. So, But Gina, this is your pick. What do you think so far? I mean, yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited to see more. I feel like we haven't gotten a ton just yet. Um, but he seems very nice. Yeah, <laughs> I've always been, yeah, definitely. Always been very endeared towards Derek, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. He's great. Um, mm -hmm. And then here's the next one. It's another more Gino pick, Miss Flora. What do we think about Flora? Flora. So Flora. 
I don't remember her so much. I mean, the face is familiar. I appreciate she's wearing a Kabbalah um, red string bracelet. Um, I certainly noticed that right away. Um, really fun confessionals. I'm excited for Flora. Flora's fun. Yeah, I literally, the reason why I picked her was because, like, at this point, I was just going through, like, on the... Um the challenge Instagram page looking at pictures of like the people who hadn't been picked. And I saw mm -hmm. a lot of people in the comment section, very excited to see her back. So I said, okay, <laughs> I'll take yeah. that one. <laughs> I pick this one. There's something oh. in the window. Is that, some, <laughs> is that, is that also how, from a show? Um, how much is that doggy in the window? <laughs> That's what I, thought was, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't know the first part. <laughs> Are you, are you picturing? No, no, she's not a dog. Just picturing Kyle, me. Kyle walking by a pet shop, oh and there's just God. a a dog there's that looks like Flora wagging its tail. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Flora. Oh God. <laughs> um. All right. Uh. So next up, we have Janelle. I had been excited to have Janelle on my team. Um, Sorry, girl. Sorry, girl. Yeah, I, I honestly was excited. I thought she might be fun to watch. And then this drama with Ayana started, and apparently Janelle just decided she couldn't. She couldn't do it. She couldn't deal with it. I thought that was mad lame. I did too. I did too. Yeah, I was I'm super sorry. The by first this. female um, eviction elimination, and like this is what you do, like over one little lie, like. On an all star season, y'all know right. the drill. Like, you know exactly yeah, why you're here. It. How are yeah. you quitting over ah, lie? Like, yeah, I thought that was really lame. And, like, it wasn't yeah. even like a devastating lie. <laughs> like, you know, certain things that can spread around a house in a game like this can sometimes be like very, very devastating. Like, either it's like a real blow to your character or something like that. This was as simple as like, you said you wanted to go against Jasmine. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I'm leaving. What? Like, that's I was, it? And, like, when like, she first said, I'm leaving, I was like, there's no way. She's leaving the room. Like, there's right. no way. She's, like leaving, the she's game. leaving the game. And they kept talking about how, like, she's gone. She's gone. And I was like, she, she's not, though. There's no way. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was lame, lame, yeah. lame. Right. Yeah. No, I believe me. I wasn't, and I wasn't loving, you know, Ayana. Um, and I definitely wanted to see Janelle sort of overcome this, but like, this was just so weak. Like, like you said, mm -hmm. it's one lie. And as we kind of talked about earlier, like, it's not like the house is seeing it. <laughs> Iota's way either at this point. So it's like, just stay right. now. Now you might be able to rally support for yourself. Like, right. people, like it might, might be sympathetic to you. Right. Like, but at the end of the day, like, I mean, I will also say that like, if in her mind, she really believed that like the best thing for her mental health was to get out of there. Then like, I guess I can't argue with it, but I did watching it i felt like this sucks i <laughs> hear so that but like you know come on the best thing for your mental health this is the first elimination like if if, if that was enough to throw you out like episode two then you never should have signed up in the first place that's what and i'm again, saying like these aren't newbies that right, they're, they're not new all -star you know season. what this is right and it's like come on i'm yeah. sure there was some woman that would have liked to play this game this go around and missed out because you were cast and right. now like they don't get to because you were you were thrown by a lie like, come right on, come right on. no no i definitely agree um but yeah it's just that's just been the reasoning that i've seen out there in like the recaps since the episode came out is that janelle chose to leave you know and cited mental health being the reason that's, yeah. that's the only and reason that's what that she I, said yeah. I, I, yeah and maybe the show also just downplayed certain things to keep something in her life private like that's certainly possible as well sure um but because i really like to think i mean, it, I, it I feel like whack to just like leave just on that like that's not enough so i i feel like i did also see someone like retweeting her or whatever being like oh that edit was interesting so like i i have to imagine something was left out that like maybe mm. gave her more of a reason, but okay. I didn't All really right. see her like elaborate on that. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Not that you necessarily want there to be more, you know, I don't want to come off like that. You start to sound like that person who's like driving in traffic. And you're like, oh my gosh, this better be like a really good accident. And then you pass it and like, there's not enough like carnage. So you just like, oh, <laughs> that's why right. I was stuck. Or you see like a really bad accident. Like, well, at least it was worth it. Like, you know, like you make those stupid little comments. You're like, Kyle, what are you saying? 
(laughs) (laughs) And that's kind of how this feels. Um, So, yeah, I mean, I hope she's well, but. Yeah. The edit certainly made it look lame. Um, And I would like to see her get a chance. I mean, like at this point, bring her back for an all-stars when Ayat is not around or something. (laughs) I'm good with that now. I don't need to see her back. Thank you. You had your fun. Thank you. It was nice to be reintroduced to you, I suppose. But damn, damn. Bye, right. girl. Bye, girl. Okay. We'll play us only. Well, uh, next up is someone who was uh, involved with this whole thing, even though she didn't have a, a say in the matter. Her name was just thrown in there, and that's Miss Jasmine. Got dragged into this mess between uh, Janelle <laughs> and uh, Ayana. So, um. What do we think about Jasmine so far? This is your uh, your draft pick, Gina. Any any thoughts? Well, technically, I was gifted Jasmine. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I- I'm interested to see how she navigates given her what her positioning is going to become after this, whatever it was. <laughs> I put Jasmine in the same boat as Big T. Um, Mm. somebody who definitely could put up, but gets in their own head a little bit too much and then like lacks the confidence and then, then doesn't live up to their true potential. So I, um, and she's already floating. Like, do I belong here? Like I'm already, I lost again. Like, what am I, it's like, can you stop it? Of course you, how many other people lost with you? Like, stop acting like, you know, you're the only loser. You're a loser in a group of eight. Like you're fine, girl. Like, just, just, this one just wasn't yours. Like. Believe in yourself. Come on. Come on, Jasmine. Get jazzed. No, I don't know. Get jazzed. <laughs> Get jazzed. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, yeah, I agree. I, just, I think she could do a lot better. She just had some more confidence. Yeah. I agree. And I can definitely, um, with the whole getting in your own head and everything, I feel like uh, I can definitely see your point about like the comparison with Big T. So Yeah. Yeah. Um, Two very I like Jasmine, capable yeah. women. Yeah. Whenever I've seen Jasmine, I've always liked her, but I feel like that's the confidence thing has been a big issue. So, yep. Um, all right. Up next, we have Mr. Jay Mitchell. I like Jay. Jay. Yeah. I like Jay too. You know, he's got a bad rap for the way that he went out for that eating thing, but it's like, I feel like he catches more flack for that than Fessy. Right. Yeah. He still made a final. Like, leave him alone. Like, totally true. Um, and I also, I thought it was funny at one point cause he was talking to people about that moment and he was like, yeah, I've been, I've been practicing drinking fish guts. So I'm ready. He goes, but you know what that means? Since I've been practicing drinking that they're going to make me eat testicles. Yes. <laughs> but even like that was like, Tony's like, are you been practicing your eating? It's like, how do you practice eating this mess? Like, <laughs> like, what do you mean practice your eating? Like, let me just go down. Probably, the do I just eat gross shit for fun? Exactly. Like- <laughs> let me just go down to the butcher and see what, but animal body parts they have lying around. Hey, you got an ear back there or a testicle? Like what you got? I'm hoping to be back on the challenge. Like that's not like a thing. (laughs) Maybe Maybe he asked TJ for some like recipes for some of this stuff that they make. Not recipes. (laughs) (laughs) Not recipes. I mean, like, like I said, when I selected him, can't be worse than the other Jay we've been watching on the challenge. So oh, it definitely will not be. <laughs> Even if his performance was crap and he goes out next week, you still would be far less annoyed with him than yeah. other Jay. Other Jay. Yeah. Um, all right. Up next is someone that I'm very excited to talk about. Who's that? And now? that is Killer Cam. Oh, woo! Sam's <laughs> back, baby. Yes. Oh yes. Go get him, yeah. girl. Oh, love her, love her, love, love, love. Yeah, yeah. So good to have Cam back. Like absolutely. Yep. yep. So good. Yeah. And um, she's such a badass. Like oh, there yeah. was a point she was talking about how like she had a C-section. Her scars aren't even healed, but she's there. She's ready to go. She's ready to compete. Mm-hmm. Um. And I was like, Truth, I, I was watching so like these good. little, her little like confessionals or whatever. I was like, did she have this baby yesterday? And she's already out here. Like, she's like, I'm still breastfeeding my kid. And I'm like, when did you pop this baby out that you're competing yeah. on the challenge? I'm pumping every few hours. When is the next challenge, Teach? Hold on. All right. You know what? I got <laughs> enough time to eke another one out. <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> um, yeah. No, she is such a badass. Yeah. And, you know, 
it's just good to have both her and Leroy back, honestly. Yeah, yeah it's I been didn't a long time. Get it. So, especially yeah. because Leroy had retired. Um, so, uh, yeah. yeah, this is great. This is great. Right. Um, and since we're, you know, we're talking about Cam, we just brought up Leroy. Why don't there we just bring him? He's not, he's not next, but like, let's just do it. That's you know, there are a couple. Let's do yeah, it together with them. Mm -hmm. um, so, Leroy's back. I, you know, what did you think of his first daily challenge performance? He was really upset with himself for coming in that, that losing group, the bottom four. Mm -hmm. um, he's got to turn it around, though. We know Le Leroy's a beast, right? I I'm yeah, not he, too worried yet. <laughs> it was one challenge. Like, again, yeah. I you can't get in your head over the first one. For sure. Um, again, you can't win them all. There's no winner of the challenge that won every daily. That's not a thing. So, right. like, you right. know, relax. Just relax. Yeah. Um, oh, for sure. Um, I think I think it just even surprised himself that he was like, all right, if I if I don't win it, that's one thing. I should at least become in middle of the pack. I, I feel like in his right. mind, that's probably what he's thinking. So mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I'm excited for him to turn it on and kick it into high gear. I so. do think the format will be interesting, though, in the sense that you can steal stars on behalf of another. And I think right. it's going to make, especially like Cam and Leroy, um, Early star gets, you know, because um, <laughs> because star people are gets <laughs> stole that from Kara. Yeah, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I feel like it, that certainly could be because I think they would be the only ones to do that, right? Because that can only happen if you're stealing for the opposite sex. Did I catch that like correct? That's kind of how think, that felt. I think you're correct. I mean. The only scenario I'm thinking of is if you already have a star and you go is no, I guess well, you, go, no, if you already T have a star. He just said like if you yeah. were to steal a star from a woman, it has to go to another woman. So like even right, right, if right. you were to steal the star, you would still have to give it to somebody else. I don't know if you'd be allowed to do that if you don't have a star yourself. Well, that's yeah, like, I guess why would you do that if you don't have a star yourself? Right, you right. Take a star just to give it to somebody else. You'd at least like take it to give it to give it to someone. Um but like, can two men do that? Well, I think he also said that if you steal from the opposite sex, it has to go to that. Like, right, if, if right. You're a, right. right. Did we already say that? That's <laughs> that's yeah. That's what I was getting at before. I just don't know. Like, yeah, yeah. I I don't know if like you know if you are a man and you steal a star for a woman to give it to another woman, do you have to yourself have a star in order to have that no, option? Is what I'm no, thinking. no. That I think I remember pretty clearly is that. If you're if you're a man and you're stealing from a woman, because it has to be three men and three women that have stars. Right, right. Oh so, yeah. So if you're a man stealing from a woman, that has to that star has to go to a woman, whether you have a star yourself or not, because you're stealing a star. From I a just woman, didn't know if you'd have an option have, yeah. to pick it if you didn't have a star. You know. Right. Right. Um. Yeah. And then I guess even if you have a star, if you steal a star from a man, it still is going to have to go to another man. Um. Right, so it could just be an interesting thing for the two of them because I don't know that there's any other like clearly defined male female duos um, that could evolve like as you go on. But like just just knowing that the two of them, I mean, these two are married, they got a kid. Um, why why wouldn't you be an early star kid? Yeah, yeah, but uh, be interesting it'd be very story. interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just it's fun to be excited about the format again. <laughs> As we a, talk about you these, can predict, yeah. you know, it's not really fun to talk about like a format that I don't even know what's happening. Got all these different phases, chaos and conquest and crap. Like, no thanks. Even yeah. like not even just for us, for them, I can't imagine trying to strategize long term when you don't know what the end, get, like what the next section of the game looks like. I don't know right. what to plan for, so I don't know who I can or can't screw over. You know, right? It's one thing if you throw a twist here or there that kind of like alters things for like a cycle or two, but like full format changes, I don't even know what to expect. I can't plan for tomorrow. Yeah. Right. I just think about the season 39 we just watched, right? Battle for a new champion, where it felt like that's what it was the whole time, where it was, no, oh, we're now we're in chaos, and oh, at some point this clock is gonna come on, and then we're in conquest, and who knows what happens then? Mm -hmm. Like it's just yeah. it's like just tell us, give us the rules of the game, tell us what the format is so that we can play it as entertaining as possible, you know, like in the best way possible and strategize the best way. Like, ah, whatever. Mm -hmm. My voice just got really high there. <laughs> really that's his angry voice 
we have to change my angry voice. Um, okay, up next uh, is Kifla. Kyle, this is your pick, right? Yeah, he's my pick. Um, I don't really know him. I just know that he, you know, he won the first challenge. That's exciting. Um, but I also don't necessarily think that that means a hell of a lot, you know, because early challenge was essentially field day games. Um, that is not what we're doing today. Um, but it was nice to see the passion he has for it. It seems to mean a lot to him. Um, so hopefully that carries him far. Yeah, I was excited for him when he got to pull his flag in that first daily challenge. He got emotional saying like, yeah, just see, seeing my name on this show again is, you know, so that was cool. It's been 25 years, you know, so yeah, um, that's a really cool thing to see him back. And it looks like he can still compete for sure. So, yeah, it's um, like he's in it. Yeah, he's no layup for sure. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Up next, we have another queen, Laurel. There Back again, there ready is. to bring the drama, ready to compete. Um, really <laughs> excited to see Laurel back uh, for a full season. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just I'm nervous though about what might happen to her game with all the Nicole drama. Um, I just hope that doesn't like derail things for her because I think she's got a great. The, the women on this season are all incredible, but Laurel has just as good a shot as anybody I think to win. You know, um, I think she. she I think easily, if not the best, the top two or three, you know, you know, female competitors there. So, um, absolutely. Yeah. I'm just excited. Yeah. And I'm just still dying to know what the drama is between her and Kara that we saw in the, the upcoming, you know, portion of the first episode. That's always been them though. That's always been them. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah, they even showed us a segment, you know, in these first two episodes before anything, where like scenes where they were yelling at each other, and then the next thing you know, we see them hugging each other, and then they're arguing again. So this is their history. It's this roller coaster. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm happy that we get to watch it unfold <laughs> finally again. Um, and then uh, yeah, Nicole was next. Gina, what do you think? Your first impression of Nicole? This is your first. Uh, Women's pick, right? <laughs> and like I said when I did it, I literally the only thing that I know about her is that she's got beef with Laurel and that she's apparently very chaotic, very messy. And I said, that sounds like fun for me. I will take her on my team. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, welcome back, Nicole. I'm excited. Yeah. yeah I like um, her. She's fun to watch. I love her accent. Very heavy. Very heavy. And the second she started speaking, I said, oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even right. like right from that, uh, was it the second challenge their team had that little confessional and they already started going at each other and she was like, I have to walk away. I can't do this. I was like, this mm -hmm. is going to be a disaster. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Yeah. There's a lot of things that I'm looking to, you know, to see here. Cause we did, we, we talked about it. It was a while ago now, but um, well, maybe not that long ago, but uh, at least, at least a few weeks ago where we talked about, there was a, like a, thing with laurel going on on twitter where she was just going off on nicole remember uh about how like yeah, yeah 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 you're a firefighter and you drink on the job or blah 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 and this and that and i feel like somebody somewhere on twitter made a mention that uh because i know we've seen laurel and nicole kissing in scenes that we know we're going to be getting but it, it seems like there's also some kind of big blowout coming from what i've read i remember reading something about like a huge argument between them on the bus i think in laurel's tweets like those uh, tweets were insane yeah um i feel like i remember hearing something about the everybody was on the on a on the bus on the way back and they were like really getting into it so i'm hoping that we get to actually see that um because yeah those tweets i just remember screenshot after screenshot of laurel tweeting about nicole it was one of those things where, like, I don't follow either of them on Twitter. I was like, everything I'm learning about this beef has been against my will. I'm just, I'm just like getting inundated with whatever is happening about these two people I barely know anything about. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Up next is Rachel. Uh, this is one of my draft picks. I'm really excited mm -hmm. to have Rachel. She seems like yeah. such a badass. Um, she is. Really good competitor. I know she's, you know, tight with Veronica and Tina, right? Mm -hmm. um and i'm excited to see what they can do i mean tina ended up with a star she didn't have to face janelle she was still able to steal a star uh that's who stole avery's so we know that uh 
Tina's got a star. I think we could totally see Rachel winning some, you know, some competitions. Or I, I could also see her not being afraid to go into elimination. You know, like I could see her being the type of person that says, "No, get me down there. I want, I want a star." Mm-hmm. Like, That's so. her. That is her. Yep. Yeah. Um. Okay. Up next is Ryan. Um. Yay. Very tight with Derek, as we mentioned. And this is—is is this your draft pick, Kyle? This is mine. This is mine. Okay. Welcome to Team Petty. So Ryan, I just <laughs> like him. I just like him a lot. Um, yeah. I don't know that he's won before, um, mm. but I don't care. I knew I had to have him. <laughs> I, I, I like him a lot. Yeah, yeah. I, I really liked him. I'm, I'm glad he's on the season. So, mm-hmm. um, all right. I believe we have a, another Gina pick up next, Mr. Steve. And Steve has been busy in this game so far. Uh, hand model Steve, um, which, by the way... He's got to he's got to find a way to talk about what he does for work. I was very overwhelmed in this conversation. <laughs> like it, they just kept saying it. They just kept saying the word hand jobs and I just It's like there there has to be another yeah. way. I appreciated it. I actually thought this was funny. <laughs> I mean it was funny but it was just like, "Oh my god." <laughs> it's like, "Thank God this is on Paramount Plus." Oh yeah, no, I mean they really did beat it into the ground. <laughs> I feel like you even heard like the people behind the camera giggling. I was like, everyone's having a grand old time with this bit right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but aside from all the the talk about hand modeling, Steve has gone into an elimination and won, taking out Tyree. Uh, so that was actually the first hit that my team spoke about. Which honestly, this even actually makes me sad now because we haven't even spoken about Tyree yet, but we've already mentioned that he's been eliminated from the game. (laughs) So, um, yeah, I had higher hopes for Tyree, but uh, listen, while we're here, let's talk about this elimination quick, I guess. Um, They had this elimination. What was it called? I think it was was it Reach for the Stars? Yes. Yeah, Reach for the Stars. Um, And they had the S Club. Oh yeah, <laughs> didn't they? They, I, they played some S Club. Uh, they sure they did. did. And I, I watching the episode, I was like, Kyle is dancing around his kitchen, having the time of his life. I was like, Woo! No way! Yeah. And it's so funny you said kitchen because I actually was in the kitchen as I was watching this. <laughs> See, I, I was watching you. it I on my iPad. Well. And I brought it in there. I was making a little <laughs> snacky, and I was like, Oh my god! Oh my god! Those are my people. Um, after you <laughs> reference them in episode one, come on, nostalgia. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. and I, I'm also realizing now that the episode title was "Reach for the Stars," but yeah. the the uh, elimination uh, game that they played itself was called "Catch a Falling Star." That's what it was. So oh. I mixed that up. Um, but uh, so yeah, the immediate deflation. <laughs> no, I mean, still "Reach for the Stars," and they're still playing. You know, that's the name of the episode. That's almost even better than the name of the elimination game. Mm-hmm. And they're playing S Club. So all right, we'll take him. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on, man. Um, Steve and Tyree. This was a, a pretty wild elimination. Tyree took off, got a huge lead. Um, Steve started to be a little, a little more strategic, though, as things went on. And rather than finding a star, jumping out, putting it in, you know, in his stack, uh, it looks like he was trying to take a little more time to find multiple stars. But you could only bring one ball with a star on it at a time. So what he had to do was try to now find these balls and hide them somewhere. Um, And that's what he was doing. And it got to a point where Tyree was at like 11 of 12 uh, balls with the star on it that he needed. He was one away. Um, And Steve still had catching up to do, but he had hidden all these balls. So it went from 11 to seven to 11 to eight to 11 to nine. And all of a sudden they're tied. Um, And there was a little bit of a scramble to see who would find this first one, uh, this last one. Um, and Steve remembered he had hidden one more little acorn away for the winter, like a squirrel. And he won the elimination to send out Tyree. And I was bummed. I was bummed to lose Tyree, to be honest. I, I was hoping, you know, I he, there was a lot of talk. I'll bring him up now since we're talking about him. But there was a lot of talk about Tyree. Um, you know, he's kind of had a bad luck in the past with being the first one always nominated, the first one always out. And there was a lot of emphasis on the fact that he had become like a personal trainer and was really working out, not only in like, you know, not, not only in like a gym lifting, but was doing like martial arts and like, um, you know, working on a lot of other areas. So I was hoping that he'd get, you know, more of a chance to show it. But it, I thought he was going to win this elimination right to the very last second. But 
that's it for Tyree. So I kind of knew Tyree was going to go because while John did not directly spoil me, um, he did say that his team is not off to a great start. So immediately once you know who is in the elimination, like you, I pulled up like the drafting, like who, who, who's here, who's not. I'm like, ah, it's probably Steve. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, but all right. Um, next up is Tina. And Tina's got a star. Tina's got a star. She sure does. Without having to compete in an elimination. So that's yeah. where to get it. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> I mean, I listen, I really like Tina. I just thought this was a lame way to get a star. And it's like, all right, so you stole it from Avery. Good for you. But, like, you're definitely going to be the first person that somebody wants to steal it from. Because you, you can't really even say it. that you earned it. Yeah. Right. I, granted, people were too scared to go against you. I mean, just yes, Janelle walked. But um, Laurel and Nicole had the option of going in. Um, and they did up no. So I guess that'll teach everyone in the future. You don't want to just let someone have a star. Someone should go. Um, right. But I don't know. Like, I just thought that was a lame way to get a star. Right. Right. And neither of them had a star, right? Laurel and Nicole. Neither of them got mm -hmm. one, right? Okay. No. So, yeah, both of them would have had a chance. I mean, and I get the idea of being like, because the game did look a little wild, right? It was like this video game thing with all these buttons and stuff. I don't know. It did look a little crazy. So I maybe I don't really remember what it was. <laughs> Right. TJ described it to us. Um, cheat codes. Cheat you had to wait for these cheat code. codes to show up on the screen, and you had to That's go to right. the video game controller and, like, put the code in. Whoever got it first, whoever got it right first, won. But yeah, I would have liked to see it play out. I would have been – I was curious to see how involved the code was going to be. I mean, it, that video game controller looked very large. So, what are you suspended in the air and you're moving around? Like, how did, I just I didn't know how it was going to go. Right. Um, yeah, I was really interested to see how it went. And like, I'm yes, wondering, yeah. like, do, do you think do you think that now that everybody has seen this and it's been explained to them that it, like they won't bring it back at least this season? Like, because I'd like to still see this competition. It looked interesting. Right. I would but, hate that. I mean, and obviously, whoever came up, with, whoever is the game maker, how disappointing. This is your moment right. to see your game get played and like, yeah. oh, yeah. Well, the girl walked out and everybody's yeah. too scared. So sorry. Your big idea just, I don't know, is going to put your whole video game control on the chipper. Yeah. <laughs> like that um, sucks. <laughs> no, yeah. And like it was such an elaborate setup. Like like you were saying, mm -hmm. like, and it, like when you consider that sometimes it's literally just like a pole wrestle um, or, or something, you know, it's just literally a pit of sand and somebody just puts out this <laughs> this one piece of equipment as opposed to like, it looked like a giant like set, you know, like this clearly took a long time to put together and to think up and design. Um, so I'm bummed we didn't get to see it. And like the fact that we were, you know, we're supposed to be two eliminations in and we've only gotten one. It's just like, we're already, we're already getting eliminations cancels. <laughs> so, but I don't, you know, I, I, I still am very excited about the season. I don't, I'm not like holding that against anybody. It's just, this is Janelle's thing. So it happens. Um, yeah. I'd rather it happen now than later. So, absolutely. If you were going to walk, yeah. just go now. Yeah. Because I'd be That's really fair. pissed if it's like, you know, episode six or seven. So, like, you know what? Forget it. I'm like, are you kidding? Right. We play it now. Now we play it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. Up next, we've got uh, Tony time. Kyle, take it away. I know you're, you're, you're. I'm just so excited to see him back. He's so beautiful. Um, everybody acts like he never won anything, but he did win the last Champs for Stars. I know that's, that's right. not a real challenge, but he did win something. He won more than some of these other fools. All right. So, yeah. what time is it? Tony time. Tony Let's time. go, baby. Woo! Yeah. yeah. You're right. You're right. And Champs versus Stars is not the same, but. Like you said, it's there not. is it, there is a Wikipedia page out there that says the challenge champs versus stars, and he is listed as the winner. So mm -hmm. Adabia yeah. is still Adabia. Yeah, and you know what? Some of those seasons were really fun. Those champs they versus were, stars. They were when very I, entertaining right? to watch. When if, I if think you can about justify Tina getting a star, then you can certainly yeah. justify his win. Yeah, <laughs> believe me, I actually watched it not that long ago. The argument between CT and TO. <laughs> when, when, C, when CT's like, well, I didn't, I didn't burn through this $100 million or whatever whatever it was. <laughs> and, like, just watching CT just totally shred apart this NFL player. 
<laughs> fucking Terrell Owens doesn't give a fuck. He's like, you're in my house now. Fuck <laughs> that. I don't care who you are. It's the challenge. <laughs> That's a great video. Oh, my God. It's making, it's making me want to watch it again. Because it goes on a long time, too. With CT, like, like mocking him. Like, ah, oh, you're crying like a baby. Like. <laughs> I have to look this up Cause, later. Cause, yeah. I think T.O. <laughs> kept doing this little thing too, like his fingers, like mm -hmm. like tears rolling every time C.T. would say something. Look, oh, and if God. he would have met C.T. just a few years prior, Terrell would have gotten his shit rocked. I mean, I don't know. Like, I think they would have actually been pretty evenly matched. But I think that the second you started with this, bonk! Like that, it's just been like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, no, some God. of those seasons are really good. Like, let's not forget, like, Lil Mama and her fight with Kayla. That was a really fun moment, too. Um, Drake yeah. Bell was also on one of these seasons. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. Yes. I totally Brooke, forgot about Never Brooke in Hogan. a million years would I have thought that name would come <laughs> yeah. up in a stream about the challenge. <laughs> yeah. Totally forgot about Drake Brooke Bell. Hogan, she came in there and she came to play. I mean, she went deep into the game, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Listen, some of these, there were some really good players. Um, Casper, that dancer that used to dance with J Lo and dated dated yeah, her for yeah. a minute. Um, he was in it. He went far because he was um, teamed up with that. Uh, What's her name? Louise. Um, Louise. Um, she was like an Olympian or something. Um, she was another one who didn't take any crap. Um, right. I don't know. Like there were some good moments in Champs for yeah. Stars. Yeah, no, definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Tony right. time. Tony time. Uh, all right, we talked about Tyree already, and mm -hmm. so the last person on here, we have one cast member left, and that is Veronica, um, who was my last draft selection mm -hmm. yesterday, mm -hmm. and. Um, yeah, I don't really have much to say about Veronica right now. I mean, we've seen her recently. She, I don't really, you know, I know her, which is like why I picked her. But I, mm -hmm. I don't. I, I mean, I like Veronica. I guess I just, I don't, I'm not really very excited about her. I don't really care. Oh. Something about her <laughs> irks me, and I cannot explain to you what it is. I can't give you any more detail than that. It's just like I, I, she rubs me the wrong way. I don't know why. Oh, I will say, I will say, I really did not like her on the last all-stars because she was in this alliance with Kayla that just like was taking people out and they would just, oh, right. I was hated tree them. Top alliance. Um, tree house or something. Like tree, house. Yeah. tree top. <laughs> and I yeah. think was Tina in that also. I feel like it might've been like Tina, Veronica now. and Kayla, but for some reason I, I don't have like that same so issue with Tina. Oh yeah, that's true. I don't have that same feeling with Tina though. Like, like I think about Veronica and I remember that alliance and it looks like maybe she was particularly nasty to people or something. I don't know. Mm. But Tina, I just, for whatever reason, don't have as much of a problem with for some reason, like Veronica, like I said, I picked I mean, her because I had two options left and like, I just felt like I, I knew Veronica better. So that's why I picked her. Just to, Veronica was one of what, five people on the season that I already knew and I didn't pick her. Like, that's how much she rubs me the wrong way. I can't tell you why. I just don't vibe with her. Oh, sorry, Veronica. Oh. Yeah. But that's the cast of uh, the Challenge All-Stars 4. Um, so let's look at our teams. Uh, Kyle still sitting pretty, has not lost anybody yet. Uh, you got Tony, Kara, Ryan, Cam, Tony, Brandon, Tony. Ayana, uh, Kifla, and Tina. Mm -hmm. Superstars only in this house. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. uh, looks like a strong team. I like it. I like it. Hell Tina, yeah. still uh, still going strong also. Still has not lost anyone. Um, you got mm -hmm. Brad, Nicole. Um, you got Jay, Avery, Derek, Flora, Steve, and Jasmine. And that means that in two episodes, <laughs> I have taken two hits. They are at the bottom of my draft, more towards bang, the bottom. Bang. But yeah, I am left with Leroy, Laurel, Ace, Rachel, Adam, and Veronica. Uh, and I've lost Tyree and Janelle. I will say, I feel like the people I got left are pretty strong. I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I was going to add that, yeah, to, you know, to your credit. This is still a good-looking team for what you have left. Um, but it wasn't a bad-looking team in the first place. Um, it, was, it wasn't a bad team, period. I don't think anyone has a bad team, honestly. I don't either. Yeah, and I think that's strong yeah. competitors, and that's just really, right. really fun. 
I, I think it speaks uh, to the cast like we were talking about. You know, like mm-hmm. I just, um, I mean, think about it. You two, Gina has Brad, um, Kara, uh, you know, you know, Kyle, she, she won the whole daily challenge, the first thing. So like you two had the first daily challenge winners, very strong right there. Mm-hmm. Um, and I feel like who else? I had somebody that had, I had at least one person that had a star. Um, I thought maybe not actually. Oh, Adam, Adam got one. Adam got a star. Oh. Did he? Am I making that up? <laughs> no, I think so. Because I was going to say the same thing. I think so. Because we, we said that earlier in the stream, right? I was surprised about his performance. <laughs> I think. Because I think he's got stolen. Um, right? I have this list. I'm no, Brandon got stolen. Brandon got stolen. Right, 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 right. Yeah, right, right. yeah. So no, the I men that. I think he had a star. Yeah, he, he did. So it was uh, the women were Kara, Rachel, and Avery. And the men were Adam, Brad, and Brandon. Um, two stars have been stolen from Avery mm-hmm. and Brandon. And that's where we're at. Um, the only thing we really didn't like mention that I guess I'll just briefly bring up uh, is the daily challenges. Um, did you like how these came out? I, I almost felt like the first one, like it was definitely not the same as like the old, old school, like you, we, we like to say, like the field day games, but it did have a little bit more of that vibe. Um, and even the fact I like how the, it seems like they're trying to do like more old school stuff, like, you know, TJ showing up on a bicycle instead of a helicopter or something, you know? Um, And even just this competition itself, it felt a little bit more field day to me. The second daily challenge didn't with the, uh, what was it? The car spinning. Spinning uh, Winnebago. Right. Um, But this one. That challenge stressed me out. (laughs) I couldn't do it. I could never, I would be useless to my team. And whatever team it was that did not know how to add 872 and (laughs) 8. <laughs> that was it was Avery, Cara Maria, and it was like there was like two other people involved in that. And I was like, what am I looking at? <laughs> but like that is the kind of meltdown I would have. Be like, I don't know what's two plus two. I can't remember. Like I would Come be so on. stressed oh. out looking at these numbers. <laughs> Gina Marie, uh, you could definitely do eight seventy two plus eight. I can, but in that moment, I don't know that I can. It's the cleanest math ever. Like the. <laughs> <laughs> it was so unacceptable. Look, you're <laughs> right. I'm not saying that I'm correct in what I'm telling you right now. I'm just saying I think I would short circuit. Um, I did chuckle at the fact that TJ did seem to be a little bit annoyed with my husband because he pulled the wrong pin <laughs> and, and Veronica's <laughs> name went out and then smoked. Like TJ actually looked that's not your annoyed. Name. He's like, that's not your name. He's like, I was like, I don't know him like that. You crazy, TJ. <laughs> Oh man, I'll that was your funny. Bike. You better stop it. <laughs> that was that was funny. <laughs> um, but yeah, and um, so as we have said already, the winners of the first daily were Brad and Kara, and the winners of the second daily challenge, the car sick one, uh, was the yellow team, which was Jay, Laurel, Nicole, and Tony. Tony time. Um, so. We'll see what happens. Yeah, you know, we've so we've gotten an individual daily challenge. We've gotten a team daily challenge. Teams of four, or or was it? Yeah, four. Um, so I, I'm curious to see how you know. How, I, I hope there's like a lot of individual daily challenges. I hope that those are the, like the majority. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's be, because TJ's been saying it's an individual game, but I feel like that doesn't mean that we're not going to get pairs in a daily challenge or. Mm-hmm. Or teams of some some kind. So I, but I hope that at least the majority of these are like the first one, and it's just all individual, and people can just play on their own. So I do want there to be a mix, but like the, yes, the majority, because right. I do think the team ones are fun because you get to see now who's working well with each other, um, and there's other drama going on in the game. Then all of a sudden they have to now work together to win. I always find that very fun to watch. Um, but yeah, I, I would prefer the majority of them, but don't, yeah. don't rule them out. The, sure. Sure. There's some fun to be had in teams. Yeah. And one other question that I just thought of, um, and then I think I'm done. I don't think I have anything else after that. But the uh, the selecting of the teams in this. So we, we we do sometimes question if there's some shenanigans going on with the randomness of this. Uh, usually, at least from what we've seen in USA seasons and, you know, 39, like MTV seasons, it seems like they make a point to show TJ – kind of making these random selections, like either holding up two nameplates or doing the hopper or whatever it is, right? 
Um, but in this one, he just said, we're going to be picking teams randomly. And then the screen transitioned and we just had our teams. Everybody had already been sorted. Do you like, does that at least feel better to you that it's like, all right, we're going to do these randomly. And then we don't have to watch him be like, how is he actually like, wh picking these? Wh whether there's like, shenanigans or not, don't insult my intelligence by pretending that it's not. If it, it, like, just put the teams up, and however you chose them, you chose them. Whatever. Don't do right. the whole song and dance of like, no, I promise it's random. Like, I don't need that. I don't need right. that either. I agree with that. Yep. Totally agree. <laughs> All right. Um, does anything? Uh, is there anything else? Anybody have any other thoughts that they want to share for? Um... For the first two episodes of the challenge all stars four i think it's a promising start no. to the season i think it is too yeah I think it is too yep okay no, i got nothing That's else awesome. well then in that case um what do we have coming up we're, well we're not done tonight we're actually gonna no, be we're back. not done yeah it's a really big night actually around here uh especially if you're a fan of big brother or big brother canada um in just under a half an hour we will be speaking with a player from Big Brother Canada 11 to discuss the mm -hmm. current season, Big Brother Canada 12. Kyle, you want to tell us who our guest is tonight since you, you did all the work? So, uh, we're, we're chatting with our good friend Shania Carter, um, of the girly pops, um, recapping this My preseason winner pick. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so, um, yeah, be really, it's gonna be a good time. I think it's gonna be a good time. I tried to make sure I actually have some notes this time because you know it's so hard to remember a, a whole week, uh, but yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Should be a good time. It's gonna be a lot of fun. She's awesome. Yeah. Um, so come hang out with us. Uh, that'll be in about 25 minutes at 9 30 p.m. Eastern time. Um, mm -hmm. other than mm -hmm. that, next Monday we'll be doing uh Survivor 46 at 9 p.m., right? Yes. Um, and then of course, uh next Thursday, we'll be back once again for a, another double stream of Challenge All Stars. We'll be recapping episode three, um, and then talking about the next week, uh the, the latest week of Big Brother Canada 12. So that's mm -hmm. what we have coming up. If you want to find us on the socials, you can do so at Strat Chat Pod. Uh, throw us a like, a comment, a subscription, a follow. Leave us a nice review. Um, and we'll see you soon in about 25 minutes. All right, yeah. everybody. Yes, we will. Little, 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 little.